Hey Aries, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a love reading for the sign of Aries. So if you're an Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Moon, or if you have a stellium in Aries, this reading is going to be for you. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general reading, so it might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, it apply. Don't try to force the message. Also, don't let this reading take anything from you. Now, if you do resonate with this reading, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. Also, keep in mind, energy is fluid, rules can get reversed, so take how it resonates. or a Libra. <laughs> the devil. You could be dealing with a Capricorn for some of you or a Taurus Libra. Someone is thinking very, very highly of you. They're very obsessed with you. A lot of obsession this person has for you. They're very attracted to you as well. King of Swords at the bottom of the deck here. For some, some of you, this person is thinking of some sort of communication with you here. They're trying to... We have the King of Swords and the Knight of Swords here. For some of you, this person is thinking of communication. But they're stopping themselves as well. Okay, let's, let's clarify that. Could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, and Aquarius. We did have the Empress trying to come out, so this person could be thinking very highly of you right now. It's like they're obsessed with your something about your how perfect you are or how perfect like it could be like uh, energetically physically this person could be very attracted to the fa fact that how perfect you look at the bottom of the deck here and the knight of swords again this person is definitely thinking of communication here for some of you this was someone who was holding back from you you know they they were they are obsessed with you but at the same time this person was holding back communication from you they were very defensive for some of you it's very possible you are very guarded when it comes to this person that's the reason why this person is afraid there's sort of a scared energy with this person of trying to approach you as well but they're very, very attracted to you. They feel very drawn to you as well. Like it's just something about you is constantly pulling this person towards you. They feel very pulled towards you. This person might be very well aware of why they are so drawn or attracted towards you. They might be very well aware of it. You could be dealing with a Leo, but this person is very well aware why they feel this kind of attraction towards you.
five of swords bottom of the deck is hierophant so taurus energy again some sort of disagreement happened between the both of you some sort of conflict happened between the both of you here so you feel like you are very well aware or you feel like this person there's something wrong with this person or some, something off about this connection you are very well aware of it you see this person as someone who's creating conflict someone who is uh, who creates competition here there's something you don't trust about this person you don't completely fully trust this person here and with the higher point at the bottom of the deck you very well might be just you have that awareness what this person was doing what they were up to you have that awareness here you are you are behaving wisely some of you could have been married to this person because we do have the higher point you could have been married to this person here because the 10 of cups was also at the bottom of the deck and the 10 of cups it, this is a traditional rider wave so it does talk about a happy family here in reverse seven of swords in reverse and the page of swords the lovers at the bottom of the deck and look at that the two of cups literally was peeping from there we have a devil and a lovers the devil in this person's energy the lovers in this person in your energy this is a very strong intense connection and for some of you you do see this person as a soulmate but at the same time something happened between the both of you because of which you completely don't trust this person You're curious about them with the page of swords. There's a curiosity you have when it comes to this person. You, for some of you, you could be trying to understand the dynamic, this connection between the both of you. You're trying to understand it. But eight of cups in reverse is someone who has not been able to completely walk away from this person or this connection. You have not yet managed to. It's like you cannot walk away from this person or connection. There's something about this person, something about this connection. There's some sort of intensity here. There's some sort of drawn, feeling drawn towards this person. So if this person is feeling drawn towards you, you felt or you still feel drawn towards this person as well. It's not one-sided. You both feel drawn to each other. And at the same time, you both are very aware of. this connection not being the healthiest and you both have this desire to talk to each other to communicate to each other it's like wanting to talk want to, for some of you could be missing this person this person could be missing you as well here but there is a strong desire to communicate with this person here and this desire is from their side as well it's very possible you both are mirroring each other emotions here there's feelings there's attraction as well here with the queen of wands 
but there's feelings as well so there's fire and water so a lot of passion as well as a lot of emotions Wow, the lovers did come out in this person's energy. So we have the devil and the lovers in this person's energy. This person is very, it's like this insane sort of attraction here in this connection. This person feels so strongly to talk to you, to communicate to you, to say something to you here. To stop holding back. This person has a strong desire to stop holding back from this connection and say something to you. But at the same time, we have the sun and the moon again, so which are counterparts to each other. For some of you, this person is trying to stop holding on to you and they're trying to let go of you or let go of this connection as well. They're trying to let go of you or this connection. They're just trying to stop obsessing over you or this connection. Or how attracted you feel, they feel towards you. How drawn they feel towards you. They want to stop doing this. They want to stop feeling so attracted and obsessed with you. They want to stop doing this. Because for some of you, this person is assuming that you have walked away from them or you are done with them. Like this person could also be feeling that this, this is one-sided. It's just me thinking this way, feeling this way. Because we do have the moon. So there's a lot of fear with this person here. It's very possible for some of you, this is a new person you are dealing with. There's a huge sort of mutual attraction you feel towards each other. There's a pull towards each other you feel. And this person is very, very pulled towards you. They feel a certain kind of connection with you as well. But at the same time, this person is trying not to lose themselves in this connection. And you both could be trying to do that. But especially this person, it's like they are, they are trying their level best to not lose themselves in this connection. Not lose themselves in the thought of having you. Possessing you. It's that very strong energy of wanting to possess you in a way. Like, like you are the object of their desire and they want to possess you. We did have the Empress trying to come out at the very beginning of the reading. And then we have the Chariot at the bottom of the deck, so Emperor here. This person is utterly confused. And yeah, look at that. We have the Empress again. This person is very, very confused here. They don't know which direction to take, which direction to move. They're trying their level best not to obsess or over you not to think about you they're trying to keep their calm here with the temp temperance they're trying to guard themselves as well for some of you if this uh, this feels like a new person for some of you as well this does feel like a new person and it's very possible because there's this insane amount of attraction between the both of you here there's a strong pull towards each other like You know, it's almost this energy of you don't trust your emotions. You don't trust your feelings with this person. Like you are trying to make sense of why do I feel this sort of attraction towards this person? Why am I curious about this person? Why can't I just stop thinking about this person? Why can't I just detach myself from this person? And this person is feeling the same way. This is very mutual. This is not one-sided. And if this is someone you have met recently and you you... You cannot just understand what is going on. 
then this person is feeling the same way as well this is not you just feeling this or this person just feeling this because i'm getting that energy of you feel like you are the only one who's feeling the strong attraction towards this person you are the only one who cannot just stop thinking about this person who has this huge curiosity for this person for some of you could be stalking them trying to understand them trying to get like you know like when you stalk a person on social media and everything you get to know a lot about the person so you're curious about this person and this connection and this person has the same curiosity as well. I'm getting that energy of for some of you it's very possible that you as well as this person the energy is totally leaking into each other so it's it's uh, what i'm getting here is i forgot what i was going to say anyways if it comes back i'll You both could be thinking or feeling that is this is, is this a uh, lustful kind of a connection? Why do I feel so drawn towards this person? Is there something deeper to this or is it, is it just a surface level kind of connection? And this person is trying to understand that as well here. This is someone because we do have the nine of wands. Yeah, see the king of swords tried to come out in reverse here. You can't think straight, can you, when it comes to this person? I'm going to take that though. You can't think straight when it comes to this person here. And this person has a lot of insecurity when it comes to their emotions as well here. They they can't uh, they can't think straight as well. What is this reading? Let's see if it comes back or not. person as well you know you both are triggering each other just being in each other's presence is triggering for each other you don't even it's like that energy of you don't even have to talk to communicate to each other it's like you both just being in the same environment same space could be triggering each other and we have the ace of cups here at the bottom of the deck so yeah for some of you this is a new love here and we also have the six of cups so new love past person could be anything or it's very possible with the six of cups here this is a uh, past life connection you are dealing with wheel of fortune about this connection here for some of you this is a past person then it's it's very possible like yeah that cycle there's a cycle that has been repeated between the both of you here it's like you both separate you both disconnect from each other you both come together you both trigger each other there's fights conflict and you both separate but when you both separate, you both are st still obsessed with each other. You both still can't stop thinking about each other. You both still have that curiosity. And you cannot walk away from this person as much as you have tried. You cannot walk away from this connection as much as you have tried here. It could be a very spiritual connection for some of you here. Very strong, intense spiritual connection. Like you both come together. You realize that you like 
it's, you come together but there's a, yeah there's a separation things fall apart and then you separate but during the separation period you still want each other you still can't stop thinking about each other this person has a lot of insecurities they have a lot of fear for some of you this person is just afraid to emotionally open up that's the reason why you both separate because this person can't stay away from you at the same time this person can't be honest with their feelings as well so it's this weird thing of yeah see seven of cups confused this person creates confusion here The devil came out on both sides here. What is this reading? The devil repeated twice to lovers. There's something very unhealthy about this connection. You cannot detach from this person as much as you would want to. For some of you, you really want to detach from this person or this connection. You really want to let go of this, but you just cannot. Something just keeps pulling you back towards this person. And it's the same thing that happens for them as well. You know, what I'm getting here is this connection can be healed here, but there's some issues that needs to be addressed from both sides. From both sides, these issues need to be addressed. You both are triggering each other for a reason. You both are triggering each other so that you can heal each other. Sorry, you can do your own healing work. You cannot heal each other. This is a kind of a connection where it will just trigger you. This person will trigger you left, right, center. Neither can you separate from them completely. Neither can you get over them completely. Nor can you just stay with them. Because there's something, some healing that needs to happen. And until and unless that healing is done, you both cannot come together. It is one of those readings. lot of unpredictable energy ups and downs something feels very destined about this connection as well for some of you you have been waiting for some sort of change some sort of turning point in this connection I see conflict arguments drama something or the other keeps happening in this connection here See, this is also what I'm getting. For some of you, you have tried to date other people. This person has tried to date other people. This reading might not resonate with everyone. You have tried to date other people. This person has tried to date other people. But it's just... It's, it's still like... Even if you're trying to date someone else, your mind still keeps going back towards this person. Or this could be this person's energy. It could be a mutual energy. You both have tried to move on and date others. Some of you, you really want to meet in the middle and work on this connection because you do feel a strong pull towards this person. We have the four of wands here as well. So you do feel a strong pull towards this person. So you want to work on this connection here. You want to work on things, heal things. There's an energy of there's defensiveness from this person's side. So even if you want to work out things here, even if you want to compromise and meet in the middle, it's just not happening. away you you cannot make things work with this person because there's defensiveness there's fear with this person here look at that we have the king of cups and the queen of cups we already have the king of cups in this person's side you have strong feelings for this person but at the same time you're trying to guard yourself look at that two of cups you have feelings but you're trying to guard yourself because this person isn't opening up so the only thing but at the same time you cannot walk away you cannot let go of this person 
Jesus. priestess you both could be very telepathically connected to each other we did see the hierophant at one point and the high priestess the hierophant and the high priestess are counterparts to each other we also saw the king of cups queen of cups counterparts sun moon counterparts devil repeated twice lovers repeated twice in both of your energies here already assuming the worst happening in this situation or this connection yeah it's of sorts they want a new beginning they want to talk to you they want to communicate to you but for some of you this person is just they're assuming the worst they're already thinking that you have moved on from them or you're not interested in them because you're not giving to them emotionally like you're not interested in them it's like this person is not getting your point And if this is a new person, they just definitely they just assume the worst. They have dealt with some sort of painful ending in their past. They have gone through some painful cycles. They have gone through a lot of pain. They have a lot of subconscious fears. This could be past wounding, childhood wounding, childhood fears. Their inner child is very wounded and traumatized. And that's the reason why this person just cannot trust another person here. Cups and the King of Cups. There's mutual feelings here. If you think that this person, if you have always felt like this person has emotions for you, if this is the past person, and you you always knew this person has emotions for you, they do. It's not in your head. You're not imagining this. This person does have emotions for you. And yeah, they want to have this happy, happy sort of a thing between the both of you. Celebrations, happiness, reunion. So this person is already in that energy of ten of swords. I feel like this is already over. I have been betrayed in the past. I will be betrayed again. This, you know, for some of you, this person is so emotionally wounded or traumatized that they cannot even imagine or they cannot even think or feel like someone you, someone like you, will love you. Actually, loves them. Actually, wants to be them. Actually, wants to be through through the, all the ups and downs. They cannot just imagine this. This person requires a lot of healing and you cannot do, do this healing for them. They have to deal with this all by themselves. It's not your job to heal another person. Neither can you do it. But yeah, this person knows you have feelings for them. And they want an equal give and take here. paranoid yeah they need to walk away eight of cups and this person for some of you they have some deep-seated abandonment issues they have to first overcome those abandonment issues until and unless they overcome this abandonment issues this person will not be able to have a healthy relationship and they will not be able to accept love 
this person is freaking par paranoid that everybody is going to leave them. They're going to be abandoned. They have to take a risk here. Yeah, see? Just obsessively thinking negative. right here right and now we have the five of wands reverse you want to let go of the stressful energy and you want to move forward the stress this drama this argument you want to meet in the middle and sort things out work on this But you feel like this person is not doing it. They are not opening up. They are not meeting you in the middle. Instead, they are just behaving weird. You have, for some, some of you, you really have the courage. You have the courage to take that risk, move things forward here. But this person has to show the courage as well. You cannot be the only one who is trying to make this connection work. Putting your everything to make this connection work. If the other person is not participating equally, you cannot make it work. And it's no point just stressing and feeling overburdened and feeling overwhelmed trying to make things work here. You want to meet in the middle and let go of any sort of conflict or whatever this person did. You're willing to forgive, you're willing to work as well. but. This person has to do something about it. They have to do their part. You can only do your part. Page of Swords. Yeah, that curiosity again. You both are defying on each other. Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, bottom of the deck was Eight of Swords. You look at that Queen and King of Pentacles, Queen and King of Cups. We also saw the Queen and King of Swords. A lot of counterpart energy in this connection. Yeah, see? Bottom of the deck is seven of swords, eight of swords here. This person is acting too strategically here. They don't really have, yeah, the moon. They feel very, very insecure. They don't really have the, they feel unfinished business for sure. And that's that emperor. So they feel unfinished business. But at the same time, this person doesn't have the courage to take any action here. All this person is doing is trying to act as strategically as possible. For some of you, this person is just lying to themselves as well. So right now, I don't see this person taking any action. They're giving into the fear. They're definitely stalking you. But that's all. They see the potential of it as well. For some of you, this person has... You know, they have to deal with their family as well. For some of you, family could be an issue with this person. And they have to deal with their family first. They have to deal with the wounds they have gotten from the family first. For some of you, this person's parents were such that they were not very emotional. So they never showed their emotions or never showed love to this person here when they were a kid, when they were a child. And that's the reason why that inner child is very traumatized and wounded. So there is a lot of work to do. Like that. 
behind and the tea feathers leave behind closure. Yeah, for some of you, this person is just imagining you have left behind. Yeah, see, third parties, attachments. There's some sort of external influences definitely here and resistance. There's a lot of resistance with this person. Emotional storm. Conflicted. Intuition. Divine masculine. We did see the emperor. Again, turmoil. This is just the bottom of the deck. Well, that's your reading, Aries. I hope you found some clarity through this reading. I'll see you guys in the next reading. I'll say, take care, guys. Bye.